My name is Darren Gertis. I'm a professor trying to give you some extra context about what's happening in the war in Ukraine. Today, the three big stories are pretty simple. Ukraine's Dnipro River crossing operation widens. Kremlin sources say the bridgehead will be crushed. Well, they generally say that. Ukrainian Marines were, according to reports, digging in in newly captured positions on the mostly Russian-held east side of the Dnipro River on Tuesday. Kyiv troops now were holding positions successfully around three communities. The first transfer of the waterway troops trained uh, to take hold of ground of the 35th and 36th Marines was reported on October 18th. At the time, this is what the map looked like. They came over and they started spreading out. Now, the question was, how did they get there? And I found this great video that we're going to watch here. These are German uh, ships that become ferries. They can drive right on the, the large trucks right on this and then just move it across. It's designed exactly for this purpose and it's an interesting video you can we can watch this together we train ukraine soldiers here on the amphil m3 during the time the ukrainian soldiers are here we teach them how to operate the amphibi m3 so that in the end they are capable of crossing wide waters especially combat vehicles in ferry mode or over bridges the motivation within the training group is very high so that we will definitely achieve the training goal I would like to thank the German and British instructors. They are wonderful instructors. They have taught us everything they can. And that's how it works. It just moves from one side of the river to the other. These vehicles have unique capabilities. They can each be used in pairs as ferries. It's really interesting. Okay, so they get these across the river and now they can start to do, well, that. Okay, that's story number one. Story number two, Russia advances near Advika but suffers significant losses. They just, the hit, hits keep coming and it's really fascinating to watch. The tactical situation remains favorable for Ukrainian troops. It's like shooting, uh, uh, like they're just in an open field and they keep trying to take that same ground. But here, according to the Ukrainian military, Russia has been losing close to 1,000 men each day during its attempt to take the town. It's been going on for a week. It's just, it's mind numbing why they keep doing this. Ukraine's leader says Russian naval assets are no longer safe in the Black Sea near Crimea. It's a it's the same kind of thing. They just keep, if, if you come out, you're going to get hit. Okay, so my time is about up. I'm at almost three minutes. I do want to leave you with one little teaser I just don't understand, and that's this. While 95% of the um, media over Israel is pro-Palestinian or anti-Israeli, every once in a while one of these, like atrocities committed by Hamas shock Israeli community, slips through. And I can't understand why, because Russia controls all the media. At any rate, that's four stories for today, but, you know, details. All right. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, and the coffees. And thank you for caring about Ukraine.